Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to improve the approach angle on the Discovery and that involves a bit of bumper trimming. Right, so the plan is to cut along this line around here and remove the whole of this bottom plastic section. That will leave this steel part and this front centre bit and all this space underneath. Now there's two bolts either side and I think that's it and then we just need to cut these end caps. Job done. Now I have just remembered that I have to take the, this plate off first but that's only two screws. This will take the number plate length off. Nice and easy. Reveals the steel part of the bumper. Put that to one side. Right, so under here we've got there's more than just two bolts either side. I forgot about that. There is some centre bolts as well. So you've got one, two, three in the centre, two either side. Now it's time to make the cut. No going back once this is done. So I'm just going to cut down this line here. Follow that line. start I might mark it out with masking tape I don't want to get it wrong so you see we've got the line marked out I can't go wrong can I <laughs> let's see let's give it a go pretty much all off just clinging on with a little bit in there sunday knife in there we go released Not remember to unclip this from the, the box That's it, the bumper trimmed. Take all this off. Cool. 
clean all these edges up. I will repaint this. These edges just won't clean up. Right, now all I've got to do is put the plinth back on. Job done. And that's a bumper trim. There we go, that is a Discovery One front bumper trim. And that is what it's gonna look like. Now we've, we've got a steering guard to go on underneath, but that has improved the approach angle now. You've got all that extra space. Eventually I will be buying a winch bumper anyway. So this is just temporary, just to see what it looks like. Enjoyed the video, do the usual, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. See you on the next one. Thanks for watching.